Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the logical learning platform. In this lecture, we will discuss graphical solution of linear programming problem with unbounded solution. So let us start. So we have the problem maximize yet x1 plus 2x2 and these are the constraints. So first we convert these inequalities into equations. Then we draw these straight lines in a two dimensional plane. So start with the first equation. So this can be written as x1 minus x2 equal to 0. So we have to find the points where this line is passing. So if you assume x1 equal to 0, then you will get x2 equal to 0. So this is the first point where this line is passing 0, 0. Now to find the another point, you can assign any value to x1 or x2. For example, say x1 equal to 2 you will get x2 equal to 2. So these are 2.00 and 2, 2. So first point is 0, 0 and second point is 2, 2. So this line is passing through these two points. If you join these two points, then you will get the straight line. Now 3x1 plus x2 equal to 6. The second one 3x1 plus x2 this equal to 6. So if you put x1 equal to 0, x1 equal to 0 means this line the point where it is passing through x2 axis if i draw in this way this say this is x1 axis this is x2 axis so x1 0 means in this axis x2 x1 will be 0 so we have to find the point where this line is passing through x2 axis so x1 equal to 0 you will get x2 equal to 6 it means the point is 0 6 second time if you put x2 equal to 0 then you will get x1 equal to 2 so another point is 2 comma 0. So this line is passing through 0, 06, 0, 06 will be point somewhere here and 2, 0 this is somewhere here. So these two points and this line these points are 0, 0 and some 1, 1, 2, 2 and in this direction. Now x1 equal to 3, x1 equal to 3. Look at this, no component of x2 is there. X1 is 3, this is fixed, X1 is constant 3. So this line will be parallel to X2 axis. Parallel to X2 axis means at every point X1 will be 3. So suppose this is 3, 0. So this line will be parallel to X2 axis. So in this way, we can draw the straight lines. Now I have summarized all these things here. So first line x1 minus x2 0 points are 0 0 this point is 0 0 and 1 1 say 1 1 or 2 2 here i have written this 1 1 you can write 1 1 or 2 2 any other point so this is 1 1 this line is passing through 0 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 so here is the line this point is you can say a 0 0 and this point is b 1 comma 1 if you wish to write another point, you can write C22 two, two or any other point. Now the line 3x1 plus x2 points are 0, 06 and 20. So this point is 20. This point is D2, 0 and 06, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this point is 0, 06, 0, 06, and say this is C. Now line x1, this is C, we have already written C, so write it. E. This point is E30. X1 equal to 3. 1, 2, 3. So this point is 3. So first draw this line. This is the line 3x1 plus x2 equal to 6. Now line x1 equal to 3. This will pass through point 3, comma 0 and parallel to x2 axis. So this is the line. Now you can write this line. This line is x1 minus x2 equal to 0. And this line is 3x1, 3x1 plus x2 equal to 6. And this line is x1 equal to 3. So these are the lines. Now we have to find the solution space of these inequalities. All the points which satisfy this inequality. So as I told you, every line divides the space into two parts. So if we start with this one, so this line divides the space into two part one in this side or second one in this side. So we have to find which the points of which side are the solution of this inequality. So for this, as I told you, you can select any point from either this side or from this side. This will itself tell you whether the reason lies 
towards the points or not for example if you take 0 6 now look at this 0 6 here if you put x1 0 minus 6 less than equal to 0 so minus 6 is less than equal to 0 so this is true it means this for this one x1 minus x2 less than equal to 0 the reason is in this side and you can mark using these arrows now look at this for this line 3x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 6 this line so two is, uh, sides are there one in this side second one in, in this side so the point 0 0 say easiest point to calculate if you put 0 0 you will get 0 plus 0 greater than equal to 6 so which is false it means the reason is opposite of this point 0 0 it means in this direction so the, this inequality 3x1 plus x2 greater than equal to 6 represent this region all the points of this side now x1 less than equal to 3 this is x1 3 and obviously x1 less than 3 the region will be in this side so now we have identified the reasons or the solution spaces of all these inequalities now we have to find the common reason now look at this if you see the reason is above this line and in the right hand side of this line left hand side of this line so the feasible reason is this one if you see this is the feasible reason and this reason is moving towards infinity moving towards infinity because no upper boundary is given to you we have only these constraints x1 greater than 0 x2 greater than 0 and all these three constraints so this is the feasible region moving towards infinity because no upper boundary is given now look at this in this case whenever you found this uh, unbounded region this region is unbounded region then you have to check the objective function because the solution depends on the nature of objective function here the objective function is maximize at x1 plus 2 x2 now look at this we can find the solution at this point or this corner point or this corner point so for just for sake of calculation we calculate z at these three points so first we find the coordinates of this point say this point is if d say this point is g the coordinates of g this is the point of intersection of x1 minus x2 and 3x1 plus x2 equal to 6 so find the point of intersection of these two line we can write we can solve 3x1 plus x2 equal to 6 so multiply it by 3 so you will get 3x1 3x1 minus 3x2 this equal to 0 or simply we can put x1 equal to x2 also so here if you subtract it this is plus this is minus so 4x2 this equal to 6 or x2 equal to 6 by 4 that is 3 by 2 so x2 equal to 3 by 2 now look at this x1 equal to x2 so x1 also this equal to 3 by 2 so coordinates of g are 3 by 2 comma 3 by 2 similarly say this point is say we have a b say this point is f the coordinates of f are this is the point of intersection of this line x1 minus x2 equal to 0 and this line is x1 equal to 3 so if you put x1 equal to 3 you will get x2 equal to 3 so coordinates will be 3 comma so now we have the coordinates of all these three corner points this 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 so we check the value of z at this point then we discuss about its solution so point z at say point c this point is say c 0 6 this point is say 0 6 coordinates are 0 6 so 0 6 this is 0 6 this is 12 now at point f 3 3 so 3 3 plus 2 6 6 plus 3 this is 9 the coordinates are 3 comma 3 and the value is 9 now next point is g coordinates are 3 by 2 comma 3 by 2 so if we put 3 by 2 plus 
2 into 3 by 2. So look at this. This is 3 by 2 plus 2 into 3 by 2. 6 plus 3 is 9 by 2. So this is 9 by 2. So you can write 9 by 2. So we have the value of z at these three points C, F and G. Now look at this. Can we say no, uh, 12 is the maximum value for this? Here look at this. This region is unbounded and the function is maximize z x1 plus 2 x2. Here you can see the maximum value of x1 is 3 but no boundary is given for x2. It means you can increase z as per your wish. If you increase x2 then z will also increase. It means since no boundary is given upper for x2, it means z can be increased based on your choice. As you increase x2, z will also increase. So, you cannot say this 12 is the maximum point. It means it will increase as you increase x2. So, in this case, you will write since the solution is feasible region is unbounded and we cannot get a particular value where z is maximum. We, z will increase as we increase x2. Therefore, the solution of this problem is unbounded or simply you can write unbounded solution. Now, if suppose region is same but the objective function is changed. Suppose if I write in place of max, if I write minimize z. This equal to the function is same x1 plus 2x2. Now what will be the answer? Look at this, the region is still unbounded but unbounded from upper side. From lower side, the region is bounded. Three points are there, C, G and F. So if the objective function is of minimization, then it means we can find the minimum value. We have calculated value of z at this three points. Look at this. This is the minimum value. So, if the objective function is minimization, then we will have a solution of this problem and the solution is x equal to 3 by 2, x1 equal to 3 by 2, x2 equal to 3 by 2 and z equal to minimum z, minimum z equal to 9 by so, in this way, you can find the solution. So, remember one thing, if you have an unbounded feasible region, then objective function is very important. You have to check it carefully and you have to decide whether the, there is a solution uh, or not, whether uh, unbounded solution. So, you have to check with the help of this objective function. So, I hope that you got the concept of unbounded feasible reason and unbounded solution. So, if you are learning something from this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.